Psalm 11, Song of the Steadfast, for the Pure and Shining One by King David. Lord, don't you hear what my well-meaning friends keep saying to me? Run away while you can. Fly away like a bird and hide in the mountains for safety. For your enemies have prepared a trap for you. They plan to destroy you with their slander and deceitful lies. Can't you see them hiding in their place of darkness and shadows? They're set against you and all those who live upright lives. But don't they know, Lord, that I have made you my only hiding place? Don't they know that I always trust in you? What can the righteous accomplish when truth pillars are destroyed and law and order collapse? Yet the Eternal One is never shaken. He is still found in His temple of holiness, reigning as Lord and King over all. He is closely watching everything that happens, and with a glance His eyes examine every heart. For His heavenly rule will prevail over all. He will test both the righteous and the wicked, exposing each heart. God's very soul detests those who love to resort to violence. He will rain down upon them judgment for their sins. A scorching wind will be their portion and lot in life. But remember this, the righteous Lord loves what is right and just, and every godly one will come into his presence and gaze upon his face. Psalm 12, Song for the New Day, for the pure and shining one, a song of smiting, sung for the new day by King David. Help, Lord, save us, for godly ones are swiftly disappearing. Where are the dependable, principled ones? They're a vanished breed. Everyone lies, everyone flatters, and everyone deceives. Nothing but empty talk, smooth talk, and double talk. Where are the truthful? I know the Lord will not deal gently with people like that. You will destroy every proud liar who says, we lie all we want. Our words are our weapons, and we won't be held accountable. Who can stop us? May the Lord cut off their twisted tongues and seal their lying lips. May they all be silenced. Those who boast and brag with their high-minded talk about doing whatever they want. But the Lord says, Now I will arise. I will defend the poor. Those who were plundered, who were plundered, the oppressed, and the needy who groan for help. I will arise to rescue and protect them. For every word God speaks is sure, and every promise pure. His truth is tested, found to be flawless, ever faithful. It is as pure as silver refined seven times in a crucible of clay. Lord, you will keep us forever safe out of the reach of the wicked. Even though they strut and prowl, tolerating and celebrating what is worthless and vile, you will still lift up those who are yours. Psalm 13. Prayer turns depression into delight. For the pure and shining one by King David. I'm hurting, Lord. Will you forget me forever? How much longer, Lord? Will you look the other way when I'm in need? How much longer must I cling to this constant grief? I've endured this shaking of my soul, so how much longer will my enemy have the upper hand? It's been long enough. Take a good look at me, God, and answer me. Breathe your life into my spirit. Bring light to my eyes in this pitch black darkness, or I will sleep the sleep of death. Don't let my enemy proclaim, I've prevailed over him. For all my adversaries will celebrate when I fall. Lord, I have always trusted in your kindness, so answer me. I will yet celebrate with passion and joy. When your salvation lifts me up, 
I will sing my song of joy to you, the Most High. For in all this, you have strengthened my soul. My enemies say that I have no savior, but I know that I have one in you. Psalm 14, God looks down from heaven for the pure and shining one by King David. Only the withering soul would say to himself, there is no God. Anyone who thinks like this is corrupt and callous, depraved and detestable, devoid of what is good. The Lord looks down in love, bending over heaven's balcony, looking over all of Adam's sons and daughters. He's looking to see if there's anyone who acts wisely, any who are searching for God and wanting to please Him. But no, everyone has wandered astray, walking stubbornly toward evil. Not one is good. He can't even find one. Look how they live in luxury while exploiting my people. Won't these workers of wickedness ever learn? They don't ever even think of praying to God. But just look at them now in panic, trembling with terror. For the Lord is on the side of the generation of his loyal lovers. The Lord is always the safest place for the poor when the workers of wickedness oppress them. How I wish that Israel's rescue would arise from the midst of Zion. When his people are restored, Jacob's joy will break forth and Israel will be glad. Psalm 15, Living in the Shining Place. A poetic song by King David. Lord, who dares to dwell with you? Who presumes the privilege of being close to you, living next to you in your shining place of glory? Who are those who daily dwell in the life of the Holy Spirit? They are passionate and wholehearted, always sincere and always speaking the truth, for their hearts are trustworthy. They refuse to slander or insult others. They'll never listen to gossip or rumors, nor would they ever harm another with their words. They will speak out passionately against evil and evil workers while commending the faithful ones who follow after the truth. They will make firm commitments and follow through, even at great cost. They never crush others with exploiting or abuse, and they would never be bought with a bribe against the innocent. They will never be shaken. They will stand firm forever. Psalm 16, The Golden Secret, a precious song engraved in gold by King David. Keep me safe, almighty God, I run for dear life to you, my safe place. So I said to the Lord God, you are my maker, my mediator, and my master. Any good thing you find in me has come from you. And he said to me, my holy lovers are wonderful, my majestic ones, my glorious ones, fulfilling all my desires. Yet there are those who yield to their weaknesses and they will have troubles and sorrows unending. I will never gather with such ones, nor give them honor in any way. Lord, I have chosen you alone as my inheritance. You are my prize, my pleasure, and my portion. I leave my destiny and its timing in your hands. Your pleasant path leads me to pleasant places. I'm overwhelmed by the privileges that come with following you. For you have given me the best. The way you counsel and correct me makes me praise you more. For your whispers in the night give me wisdom, showing me what to do next. Because you are close to me and always available. My confidence will never be shaken, for I experience your wraparound presence every moment. 
My heart and soul explode with joy, full of glory. Even my body will rest confident and secure. For you will not abandon me to the realm of death, nor will you allow your holy ones to experience corruption. For you bring me a continual revelation of resurrection life, the path to the bliss that brings me face to face with you. Psalm 17, a cry for justice, a priestly prayer by King David. Listen to me, Lord. Hear the passionate prayer of this honest man. It's my piercing cry for justice. My cause is just and my need is real. I've done what's right and my lips speak truth. Lord, I always live my life before your face. So examine and exonerate me. Vindicate me and show the world I'm innocent. For in a visitation of the night, you inspected my heart and refined my soul in fire until nothing vile was found in me. I've wanted my words and my ways to always agree. Following your word has kept me from wrong. Your ways have molded my footsteps, keeping me from going down to the forbidden paths of the destroyer. My steps follow in the tracks of your chariot wheels, always staying in their path, never straying from your way. You will answer me, God. I know you always will, like you always do, as you listen with love to my every prayer. Magnify the marvels of your mercy to all who seek you. Make your pure one wonderful to me, like you do for all those who turn aside to hide themselves in you. Protect me from harm. Keep an eye on me like you would a child reflecting in the twinkling of your eye. Yes, hide me within the shelter of your embrace under your outstretched wings. Protect me from all my foes for there are many who surround my soul to completely destroy me. They are pitiless, heartless, hard as nails, swollen with pride and filled with arrogance. See how they close in on me, waiting for the chance to throw me to the ground. They are like lions eager to tear me apart, like young and fearless lions lurking in secret, so ferocious and cruel, ready to rip me to shreds. Arise, O oh God, and confront them. Challenge them with your might. Free me from their clutches and rescue me from their rage. Throw them down to the ground, those who live for only this life on earth. Thrust them out of their prosperity and into their portion in eternity, leaving their wealth and wickedness behind. As for me, because I'm innocent, I will see your face until I see you for who you really are. Then I will awaken with your form and be fully satisfied, fulfilled in the revelation of your glory in me. Psalm 18, I love you, Lord. Praise is sung to the pure and shining one by King David, his servant, composed when the Lord rescued David from all his many enemies, including the brutality of Saul. Lord, I passionately love you and am bonded to you. I want to embrace you, for now you've become my power. You're as real to me as bedrock beneath my feet, like a castle on a cliff, my forever firm fortress, my mountain of hiding, my pathway of escape, my tower of rescue where none can reach me, my secret strength and shield around me. You are salvation's ray of brightness shining on the hillside, always the champion of my cause. All I need to do is call to you 
singing to you the praiseworthy God when I do I'm safe and sound in you for when the ropes of death wrapped around me and terrifying torrents of destruction overwhelm me take me to death's door to doom's domain I cried out to you in my distress the delivering God and from your temple throne you heard my troubled cry my sobs came through you into your heart and you turned your face to rescue me. The earth itself shivered and shook. It reeled and rocked before him. As the mountains trembled, they melted away. For his anger was kindled, burning on my behalf. Fierce flames leapt from his mouth, erupting and blazing, burning coals and smoke and fire encircled him. He stretched out heaven's curtain, open and came to my defense. Swiftly he rode to the earth as stormy sky was lowered. He rode a chariot of thunderclouds amidst thick darkness, a cherub his steed as he swooped down, soaring on the wings of spirit wind, wrapped and hidden in the thick dark cloud. His thunder tabernacle surrounded him. He hid himself in the mystery darkness. The dense rain clouds were garments. Suddenly, the brilliance of his presence broke through with lightning bolts and with a mighty storm from heaven, like a tempest dropping coals of fire, the Lord thundered. The great God above every God spoke with his thunder voice from the skies. What fearsome hailstones and flashes of fire were before him. He released his lightning arrows and routed my foes. See how they ran and scattered it in fear. When his mighty roar, he laid bare the foundations of the earth uncovering the secret source of the sea. The hidden depths of land and sea were exposed by the hurricane blast of his hot breath. He then reached down from heaven all the way from the sky to the sea. He reached down into my darkness to rescue me. He took me out of my calamity and chaos and drew me to himself, taking me from the depths of my despair. Even though I was helpless in, in the hands of my hateful strong enemy, you were good to deliver me. When I was at my weakest, my enemies attacked but the Lord held on to me. His love broke open the way and he brought me into a beautiful broad place. He rescued me because his delight is in me. He rewarded me for doing what's right and staying pure. I will follow his commands and never stop. I will not sin by ceasing to follow him no matter what. For I've kept my eyes focused on his righteous words and I've obeyed everything that he's told me to do. I've done my best to be blameless and to follow all his ways, keeping my heart pure. I've kept my integrity by surrendering to him. And so the Lord has rewarded me with his blessing. This is the treasure I've discovered when I kept my heart clean before his eyes. Lord, it is clear to me now that how we live will dictate how you deal with us. Good people will taste your goodness, Lord, and those who are loyal to you, you love to prove that you are loyal and true. And for those who are purified, they will find you always pure, but you'll outwit the crooked and cunning with your craftiness. To the humble, you bring heaven's deliverance, but to the proud and haughty, you disregard. God, all at once, you turn on a floodlight for me. You are the revelation light in my darkness. And in your brightness, I can see the path ahead. With you as my strength, I can crush an enemy horde advancing through every stronghold that stands in front of me. What a God you are. Your path for me has been perfect. All your promises have proven true. What a secure shelter for all those who turn to hide themselves in you. You are the wraparound God giving grace to me. 
Could there be any God, other God like you? You are the only God to be worshipped. For there is not a more secure foundation to build my life upon than you. You have wrapped me in power, and now you've shared with me your perfection. Through you, I ascend to the highest peaks of your glory, to stand in the heavenly places, strong and secure in you. You've trained me with the weapons of warfare worship. Now I'll descend into battle with power to chase and conquer my foes. You empower me for victory with your wraparound presence. Your power within makes me strong to subdue. And by stooping down in gentleness, you strengthened me and made me great. You set me free from captivity and now I'm standing complete, ready to fight. <laughs> Some more. <laughs> I caught up with my enemies and conquered them and didn't turn back until the war was won. I pinned them to the ground and broke them to pieces. I finished them once and for all. They're as good as dead. <laughs> you placed your armor upon me and defeated my enemies making them bow low at my feet. You've made them all turn tail and run. For through you, I've destroyed them all. Forever silence. They'll never taunt me again. They've shouted for help, but not one dared to rescue them. They shouted to God, but he refused to answer them. So I pulverized them to powder and cast them to the wind. I swept them away like dirt on the floor. You gave me victory on every side. For look how the nations come to serve me. Even those I've never heard of come and bow at my feet. As soon as they heard of me, they submitted to me. Even the rebel foreigners obey my every word. Their rebellion fades away as they come near, trembling in their strongholds. They come crawling out of their hideouts, cringing in fear before me. Their courage is gone. The Almighty is alive and conquers all. Praise is lifted high to the unshakable God, towering over all. My Savior God is worthy to be praised. Look how he pays back harm to all who harm me, subduing all the people who come against me. He rescues me from my enemies. He lifts me up high and keeps me out of reach far from the grasp of my violent foe. This is why I thank God with high praises. I will sing my song to the highest God so all among the nations will hear me. You have appointed me king and rescued me time and time again with your magnificent miracles. You've been merciful and kind to me, your anointed one. This favor will be forever seen upon your loving servant, David, and to all my descendants. Psalm 19, God's Witnesses, for the pure and shining one, a poem of praise by King David, his loving servant. God's story in the skies. God's splendor is a tale that is told. His testament is written in the stars. Space itself speaks his story every day. Through the marvels of the heavens, his truth is on tour in the starry vault of the sky, showing his skill in creation's craftsmanship. Each day gushes out its message to the next, night with night, whispering its knowledge to all. Without a sound, without a word, without a voice being heard. Yet all the world can see its story. Everywhere its gospel is clearly read so all may know. What a heavenly home God has set for the sun, shining in the superdome of the sky. See how he leaves his celestial chamber each morning, radiant as a bridegroom ready for his wedding like a day-breaking champion eager to run his course. He rises on one horizon, completing his circuit on the other, warming lives and lands with his heat. 
God's story in the scriptures. God's word is perfect in every way. How it revives our souls. His laws lead us to truth and his ways change the simple into wise. His teachings make us joyful and radiate his life, his light. His precepts are so pure, his commands, how they challenge us to keep close to his heart. The revelation light of his word makes my spirit shine radiant. Every one of the Lord's commands is right, Following them brings cheer. <laughs> Nothing he says ever needs to be changed. The rarest treasures of life are found in his truth. That's why I prize God's word like others prize the finest gold. Nothing brings the soul such sweetness as seeking his living words. For they warn us, his servants, and keep us from following the wicked way, giving a lifetime guarantee, great success to every obedient soul. Without this revelation light, how would I ever detect the waywardness of my heart? Lord, forgive my hidden flaws whenever you find them. Keep cleansing me, God, and keep me from my secret selfish sins. May they never rule over me, for only then will I be free from fault and remain innocent of rebellion. So may the words of my mouth, my meditation thoughts, and every movement of my heart be always pure and pleasing, acceptable before your eyes, my only Redeemer, my Protector, God. Psalm 20, a song of trust. For the pure and shining one, for the end times by King David. In your day of danger, may the Lord answer and deliver you. May the name of the God of Jacob set you safely on high. May supernatural help be sent from his sanctuary. May he support you from Zion's fortress. May he remember every gift you have ever given him and celebrate every sacrifice of love you have shown him. Pause in his presence. May God give you every desire of your heart and carry out your every plan as you go to battle. When you succeed, we will celebrate and shout for joy. Flags will fly when victory is yours. Yes. God will answer your prayers and we will praise him. I know God gives me all that I ask for and brings victory to his anointed king. My deliverance cry will be heard in his holy heaven. By his mighty hand, miracles will manifest through his saving strength. Some find their strength in their weapons and wisdom, but my miracle deliverance can never be won by men. Our boast is in the Lord our God, who makes us strong and gives us victory. Our enemies will not prevail. They will only collapse and perish in defeat, while we will rise up full of courage. Give victory to our King, O God. The day we call on you, give us your answer.